Thalia has sold more than 25 million albums and is regarded as the most famous telenovela star in the world, having been watched by more than 2 billion people in 180 countries. Now in Growing Stronger, Thalia opens up about her rewarding and sometimes devastating life experiences, and we're happy to welcome Thalia to the show today to talk about her new book and her life as a wife and a mom, in addition to being an international superstar. Thalia, how are you? Hey, how are you? Thank you for having me here. I'm so happy. Good morning, everyone. Absolutely. It's, we're, we're, it's an honor to have you here. Now, before all this huge success that you, you have had for many years now, you are a young girl living quite an interesting life in Mexico. Tell us about that. Well, I was born in Mexico City, and, uh, you know, I'm one of five sisters, and uh, my father died when I was six years old, so that was very traumatic. And then after that, well, I started, uh, you know, in, in this business, singing in a little group when I was seven years old, having the best time. It was like playing to me. It was like my play date, uh, going to stage and sing. And, and then, you know, after that, I, I just, you know, kept growing, doing uh, plays, theater, then soap operas and music and the whole thing, the whole nine yards. And then uh, right now it's just, uh, to me, a great opportunity to write this book with uh, some of those stories uh, with, the, um, with the perspective of how can you turn difficult obstacles, difficult moments in your life and transform them into opportunities, into something uh, to improve you spiritually, intellectually, to, 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 to make you a gladiator in life. This is what the book is about. Yeah, and I got a chance to go through it. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but you get into some pretty personal details, like you said, uh, about losing your father at such a young age. And now two of your sisters were kidnapped when you were, when you were very young as well, weren't they? Yes, yes, that was a very uh, difficult moment in our life, in, in my family, and uh, it was traumatic. I mean, just to think about it, it just gives me anxiety. But it was uh, one of those, again, experiences that made us like rocks, like solid, uh, you know, like uh, it was just one of those moments that you grow, that you grow stronger, that you overcome all these obstacles. It's like just going to the peak of that mountain and finally see the horizon, you know? And so it's basically uh, uh, stories like that through the whole book that uh, has like a, like a sense of empowerment, like a, like a flavor of life, of, of feeling good, or of releasing all those chains, of letting go of your ghosts, and opening those closets, and get rid of the skeletons <laughs> in the closets, and just start from zero and st start fresh. That's kind of growing stronger is all about. Well, you know, that's the best way to, to place to come from, really, when you're talking about yourself, is just to let it all out there, isn't it? And just, people can learn from that, because a lot of people probably relate to some of the stories that you're going through. And one of the... the definitely, very, definitely. And one of the serious things that you talk about are the health issues that you had to overcome as well. What, what are some of those? Yeah, well, um, I got Lyme disease that is a, a pandemic right now in the whole world, but it's like a quiet thing that nobody really deals with it or they don't know really how to deal with it. And, uh, and it was like terrifying and awful. It was a moment that I felt I was going to die. This, this is a, a, an illness that you can really die from it, Lyme disease. So you have to, to, to be informed about it. I talk about uh, this in the book. There's a chapter of like how can, how I, 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 I just, you know, improve through, through the years um, with therapy and medicines and a protocol and, and good doctors. Uh, this this uh, obstacle and I want to talk about it because it's there everybody could could get it and nobody talks about it so it's good to just put it out there that's great and I have to admit something and I'm gonna admit to you now because I've got you right here in front of me I watch talent novellas all the time and I don't understand Spanish I just get <laughs> but you so, like the drama I get so, it's so dramatic I get so pulled into it's it and I watch and I'm like Why? oh my gosh and I don't have any clue what they're saying I don't even care what they're saying it's just it sucks me right into it so I you love just, it you just feel like right the faces and the drama and the, the it, whole yeah 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 it's 
it's romantic. Uh, you know, <laughs> you can laugh, you can cry. That's 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 what it's all about. It's all and about passion. It's so funny. It's all about passion because <laughs> this book has those two elements. You are reading the book and then you cry and then you laugh and then you cry and then you laugh. It but has that learn. melodramatic element. But we learn through it and we learn through you. Thank you so much, Thalia, for for being with us today. Our thanks to, to you and spending the time with us as well as Penguin Group for sponsoring this segment. It's a weekend full of family fun and entertainment for just about everyone. We'll break them all down for you with Dan Brown from Folio Weekly. He's back to give you the chance to score a four pack of passes to the fair also. Stay with us. Here's today's Deal Chicken Deal of the Day. Get